so as this talk is about void we thought it will be a cool idea if we could dial in and talk to you on skype but then i remember that recently skype got acquired by microsoft and we know <laughs> what happens when we start using microsoft products i'm shailesh i'm working in joe software for last four and a half years hi i am sandeep i work in joe software for more than four years this is my github handle who likes getting phone calls in the middle hello I will say, sorry, ma'am. I am not interested. Thank you very much. And keep the phone off. Do you know why? Because I am writing software to help these telecallers to call you in the afternoon. <laughs> Over past three and a half years, I am involved in developing a call center application. So then what is it talk about? It's not just void, but void on rails. And not void on rails, but void on rails in India. It's a difference. Because in India, the government said you cannot terminate a call initiated from internet. And terminating on a PSTN line, that means a landline. So, if I have to call, but that means I can do a Skype call to a landline or a mobile, right? But then I can call from my Skype to a mobile or landline number. But then I have to buy a Skype credit. Then I'll get an international number. Which will probably start with plus one, and then if I call from a Skype, it will be an international call, which will probably cost me five rupees per minute, which is damn expensive. If I have to do a local call from India to India, so then if I can I get an Indian number for local calling? The answer is no. because the telephone industry in india it is different from rest of the world in india you get a service cheap you can get a 10 rupees recharge card and you can talk for 10 rupees but then you have to buy a separate handset which is probably expensive whereas in other countries if you buy if you have to buy a minimum service contract of 2 years and you get a iphone free also in india the incoming calls are free whereas in other countries it's paid so in india if i'm calling from a internet as my incoming is free and if i'm calling from a internet effectively my outgoing also free so i'm using the telecom infrastructure and i'm not paying for it who likes it even raja will not like it <laughs> right so indian government says void is not legal in india to explain this if you look at this slide this is a global setup for void there is a sip phone and you can call sip from a sip phone to a pstn line you can see the ipbx that's a asterisk server we'll come to that part later but using the asterisk server i can call from i can call from sip phone to a pstn line 
or Python calls from my office to a PSTL line using void providers or void gateway. Please make a note here. Uh, asterisk server is uh, resided uh, resided on LAN, not a LAN. It's on LAN. So this is the global setup, which you will find in every other country. But if if I have to implement this kind of setup in India, it will be something like this. My asterisk server cannot exist on WAN. It has to be there in LAN. And then I can call to a PSTN line using my asterisk server. So till this rules get sort out, VoIP is not going to be easy in India. Let's take an example. I have a small call center business where I have 20 people calling from. So how do I will buy 20 telephone lines and I will have 20 telephones. So let's assume I have, I got a plan for each line. It it cost me rupees 2,500 for a month, where I get 3,000 minutes free for a month, and afterwards it cost me rupees. One for one minute. So it will cost me minimum of fifty thousand rupees as a fixed rental for a month. Now that this is the rental which I'll have to pay for each line. It's not the total. It's twenty five hundred for each line when I'm buying twenty different telephone connections. Suppose uh, my telecaller is making only 2000 minutes for a month it's getting underutilized still i have to pay rupees 2000 2500 as a fixed rental for that telecaller next if my telecaller is making 4000 minutes for a month then i have to pay extra for it as it, it cost me 1 rupees per minute I have to pay 1000 rupees as an additional cost. Next. So, in this setup, there are problems. What if I have to add 10 more telecallers to my organization? Either I have to buy 10 more lines and to get those telecallers started, but it will again cost me extra rupees for that. What if my business is a downsize? So I have to again disconnect those telephone lines or I have to end up paying extra for it. So in this current setup, we found the problems of scalability and cost as we, can, we cannot easily increase my telecallers from 20 to 30 or if my business is downsized, I cannot easily cut those telephone lines. So how do I solve these problems? Welcome to Asterix. So Asterix is open source telephony framework where where you can specify unlimited number of extensions so we solve the problem of scalability we can easily configure number of extensions inside asterisk again we can replace telephone instruments we use in earlier setup with soft phones or chip phones or we can have ip phones you can use asterisk server to bridge calls which, which are getting incoming and outgoing calls. We can easily bridge those calls. But then, now I have the setup ready. 
And if I have to call someone, I'll need the number, right? Now, how do I get the number? There comes PRI line. PRI stands for Primary Rate Interface. If you go to a service provider, this is just like a plan, which will give you a bandwidth of 30 simultaneous callings. That means you can do 30 simultaneous calls. And you will get not just one number, but you will get range of numbers. Say starting from 9000 to 9099. Uh, and it will have the default uh, prefix. So, PRI is nothing but a least line for voice calling. Now, we saw what is VoIP, why it is different in India. We saw asterisk, we saw PRI. Now, if I have asterisk and PRI line, I am happy. Now, I should be ready to call on a mobile or a landline in India. Now, in the earlier setup, we saw that we are facing the problems for scalability and cost. Now, let's see if I have asterisk. And a PR line, can I solve that problem? If you look at this slide, when you purchase a PR line, say I have a setup which I, uh, I, I want to put 30 telecallers and I buy a, a PR line. So, approximately I will have to pay somewhere around 35,000 as a fixed rental and I will get 25,000 minutes free. If you note here, 25,000 minutes is not for each extension. It's the total minutes which I have got free for all the extensions. So, if I have 30 TMEs, I can easily track which TME has used which how many minutes. Then, so this solves my cost problem. I don't have to really worry about the how much TME has used the minutes, then how much I have to pay extra. Then let's see if we can solve the scalability problem. Let's say my business is going too good and I'm, I want to increase my strength from 30 to say 100. I just have to add 70 more extensions. I already have 100 extension numbers from the service provider. I just have to configure in my ASTIC server key. Okay, now you have 70 more extensions and there will be 70 more telecallers will be calling through ASTIC. Note that here, though the extensions are 100, but still on the top there is only 30 simultaneous calls which will be acting parallel, uh, simultaneously. So, what is the 31st telecaller is trying to call a number? In that case, Asterix maintains a queue where he will put the 31st TME in a queue and as soon as so any, any, uh, he'll, uh, he'll see if any uh, telecaller is free within first 30, he'll put the next one. So this solves my extensions problem, uh, scalability problem. Now we saw everything, but then can I integrate it with a web application? Firstly, why web application? Why not desktop application? By web application, it has many features because we have a central elastic server which is connected to PRI line. It's easy for administration. I'll have central administration. Then I can record the calls. Which TME is calling whom? What are they talking? I can easily record them. Third thing is, I can easily keep an eye on that TME. That, that TME should not call his girlfriend or boyfriend and I am not paying for it. Both is performance, employees competencies. I can easily track which TME has called how many customers for a month and I can track the, their performance. And last thing is there will be only single point of failure. So it's easy for maintenance. Now, 
So we decided we are using web application. Then as we are aware of Rails, so Rails will come as a first choice. Then how do I connect to the Azure server? Welcome to the Adderjan. Adderjan works as a glue between Rails application and Asterisk server. Adderjan is a Ruby telephony framework. Asterisk provides us Asterisk gateway interface to extend Asterisk dial plan to execute in the Adderjan as well as using Adderjan you can connect with Asterisk as a ma manager and you can register for callback events. So whatever action got performed on Asterisk server you can track those action inside your Adderjan application and as Adderjan connects with Rails you can add for your audit purpose. Now we see that we can integrate it with a Rails application. But then, till now, whatever the slide we have seen, let's see if we can actually implement this, or probably we can see a demo if it really works. Since morning, we are seeing only slides. So, we'll try and make it different. We we'll try to show you a demo. The last demo was the SMS one. Now we we'll show the mobile. Before the demo, I just want to quickly explain what this demo is about. Now, as you see, I have a Rails application, I have Adderjan, I have a Asterisk server and a PR line set up in my office, which is there in my inland. Now, I need one of your number, which I'll enter in my browser. And browser will send a request to the Rails application. Rails application will internally send a, a request to the Asterisk server and he will call you. As soon as you pick up the call, he will send a call back to the Asterisk server that now the call is connected, the customer is online. Then call then Asterix will call me. In this case, he will call Sandeep. And as soon as Sandeep pick up the call, we both will be online. Okay? So, let's see. So, anybody volunteer who can give us number? Anyone? Yes? Your name? Nine. Are you having good signal over there? Yes. Okay. This is right, right? Nine eight nine two four three triple zero six. Okay. We'll be calling you on your mobile. Okay. Before you pick up the call, you just see notice the number. Okay. Uh, can we have a mic for Jagdish? Okay, now we will be dialing Jagdish number. And Jagdish number is back. ringing now. Yeah, okay, pick up the call. Hello? Oh, no, no, wait, it's calling me. So, what, uh, hello Jagdish? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, what number are you seeing on your phone? 9120 Okay. So, okay. So, how is this quantum going Jagdish? Yeah, Okay. Thanks a lot. Now, 
Please notice we can we are having status over there that both the calls are got connected. This is my number. This is Jagdish number. Call is hang up. And there is a download link. Actually, when the call is in uh, progress, Astrix server records that particular call. So we can listen that. Yeah. Let's see if we can listen to this call. So we just saw that the whatever the call was happened between Sandeep and Jagdish, we recorded in our server. Now let's see. Now this was the outgoing call and uh, outgoing call. Now let's see if we can do an incoming call. Jagdish, can you call that number? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, we will not pick up your phone. <laughs> we will just, okay. we'll just show you that it's ringing. Yes, and it's ringing. Pick up the phone. Hello? Okay, uh, sorry boss. <laughs> I just got to uh, receive your phone. <laughs> Thanks. So, okay. what you just saw that the number which was there on Jagdish mobile, it was not Sandeep number, but it was the number which my service provider has given me when I purchased the PR line. That number was starting with 9021, right? Uh, ended with 9021. So that was my extension. The same number called to Sandeep. Same extension was there on the Sandeep mobile. So here we have seen that asterisk call. Here, Asterix is initiating the call and this call is not initiated from my internet, right? So, this is legal because I have everything set up in LAN. Now, just... <coughs> Now let's go through the code, what configuration we have actually made in the Asterix server. So this is the extensions.conf file inside Asterix server. So basically it's a dial plan, whenever call comes to the system and whenever calls goes out of system, it goes through this file. This file contains the various context, you can notice that rubycon outgoing local context are defined over here. So, just now we made the uh, outgoing call. For this, we use rubycon context and there is a set of instructions inside it. First is the monitor, which is the asterisk application, which records the particular call. Second is dial and it dials to my number. Next is a play busy tone, if uh, number is not reachable or just uh, receiver hang up that, uh, that call, it plays busy tone. Next. And this is the context for incoming calls. Whenever incoming calls get, it outputs that no op is the application which out outputs the lock for that particular call. Then forget about the go to music gallery. It is for 9023 extension. We will uh, 
discuss it later and then after 9021 it will set the caller id for incoming calls to, and again, afterwards it will dial my number next so this is the sip.conf file where you can specify unlimited number of extensions you can notice here 9021 and 9023 are the extensions specified here you you can give password for that particular extension also we can specify uh, that particular user whether it's permitted for out, uh, outgoing calls local calls international calls we can set those permissions over here next this is the manager.conf file here you can specify a manager user this user uh, requires us to specify in adherent application to call from a rails application specifying manager user and permissions it allows me to call outside from the system so how we are on time okay so we can have ivr demo this how is the you know what is ivr okay yes. yes so the people who doesn't know what is ipr they must be using it very often because ivr is nothing but when you call your uh, customer care the first thing you listen is please select the language मराठी साठी एक दावा हिंदी साठी दोन हे हिंदी के सो एनी बडी वॉलंटियर हू कॅन डायल ऑन दिस नंबर वी हॅव म्युझिक गॅलरी आय आर डेमो सो दिस वी कॅन ऍक्च्युली डू इट युजिंग ऍस्पेक्ट so anyone can you please call this number and, and uh, please uh, put your phone on the speaker so everybody can listen you anyone so to can you please uh, try again this is about the the demo is like when you call this number we have a recorded clip which will ask you to select a language for the list, for in which language you want to listen the song you have three options you have hindi english and marathi whatever the application you uh, whatever the option you choose you will be able to listen the song so that's what is ivr this is the code for ivr uh, it uh, whenever calls comes to the uh, that particular extension it will first answer that particular call then it will uh, play our voice uh, file over there it will has uh, it it contains the menu options and then after it will uh, go to the corresponding uh, an answer menu for english it will pick up the english file from the gallery uh, folder this is the code yes this is the rails code uh, which we used to dial out from the system so basically there is a uh, filter method load drb which uh, loads the distributed ruby object which is uh, adderzen and using that particular adderzen object you can originate call from the system you can specify destination you have to specify context which context to perform and there is a extension which is the number uh, that should be get displayed on the receiver end and you can also pass variables like uh, 
sleep time, call launcher, or destination number, extra parameters you can specify over there. Uh, as uh, we saw, as, uh, Adagen can register callbacks. This is the callback events. We are uh, trapping those for displaying the browser. browser. We were seeing, right? Phone ringing and answered and, and bridge. Hang up. Those are the events which are tracked in Adagen. And we can get those events in the Rails code. And we can show to the user that what this event is performed. Okay. So, any questions? <coughs> any questions? Uh, hi. Can I make an international call using your setup, the setup you have just explained to us? Yes, but for that you have to buy a plan, like in a landline, you get a plan for calling local ISV STD. Similarly, in PRI line, you can get a plan, if you, but you have to purchase it with your service provider. If you have the plan, you can definitely call for the... How much do I have to pay for the PRI lines? That we'll have to check with your service provider. Normally, the service providers are like Tata Indicom, Idea, Bharat Airtel. Uh, Tata Indicom, we are having a plan like uh, 34,000 per month. They give us uh, 24,000 minutes free for that particular month. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. Overall, no, no. overall means. And then after it uh, costs us 30 paisa per minute. Normally this setup what we what we have just explained it's for local setup. Like if if you really uh, want to uh, have a setup for 30 or 40 people, then this is the ideal setup using Asterix and Adagen. If you have a large setup, then you can probably you know have a license which will for that uh, for which you'll have to pay a bank guarantee of five crores or something, and then you can get a license. Uh, you will get a license from government that you can actually do this. But if you have a small setup, you will have to use asterisks and adders. Why do you need the license? No, no uh, actually uh, in India you cannot uh, initiate an internet call. Fr uh, call from the internet origin and that will end on the PSTN line. So if, if, if you really wanted to do that, you have to pay for license. Anyone? Yeah, that is not a problem because mm -hmm. that is not in government hand. Government will have a problem if the call is initiated within India. And from the internet. From the internet. Because and the thing is and if that call comes to the PSTN line. Now you might have already covered this. Adergen is that like part of Ruby? Is that it? Yes. It's, it's a Ruby, Ruby. Tele telecom uh, telephony framework. You need to install something. It's a gem. That's all it is. You covered something on SMS before. Is that you said you did some SMS demo? No, no, that was the no. earlier talk. <laughs> Anyone else? Yes. Hi. How do you uh, set this up locally in your development environment for testing out stuff? You mean locally you mean uh, without PRI line or? Yes. For development do you have anything like? Uh, okay. Uh, you can set up, uh, you can install Asterix on your server. So it will uh, uh, work as a communication server, as a PBX. And you can use that particular setup inside your LAN without PRI line. Is that answered your question or no? Yeah, but uh, how do you get the calling part? See, if you have to call on a mobile or landline, you'll have to purchase a PRI line. There's no other option for it. But if, if you wanted to call in between soft phones, like uh, uh, Skype is also a soft phone, uh, you can install a Twinkle soft phone. 
and you can uh, call between uh, twinkle phones in your organization using internet any more questions yes sir the itr calls can be generated from the system right instead of uh, somebody calling in and then the ivr system clicking in can we initiate a call from the system and have a dialogue with the consumer yes you can initiate call from the system uh, while you get uh, ivr call not while i get a ivr call like can i say it based on some time like every day 6 o'clock in the morning mm -hmm. i call you and deliver a message mm -hmm. uh, or have an interactive uh, ivr conversation but the uh, starting of the conversation is from the system side and not from the user side okay so you are saying there should be an automated task Uh, yeah, yeah. So I have automated tasks that would run based on some condition. Call a user mm -hmm. and ask for whatever information I want to get from the user. Okay. Yeah, you can have a background task that will you know that particular uh, call from the system. Okay. Because right now you demonstrated where you initiate a call to somebody and that gets connected to another yes. uh, mobile phone. His number is. Predefined in the asterisk. Right. So instead of that, the system call him, and then system does the conversation. Yeah, I system initiate call. System initiate call, but after that he is talking to him. Okay. On a landline, the system was out of yes. The loop. We can do that. We can do that. So system can be one of the party to conversation. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, where in your network setup do you actually do a check for the do not disturb list before you call somebody uh actually we registered with uh, uh, government's ndnc site and uh, we get those ndnc files uh, from regular intervals and we import that files in our system then after a, uh, every day we scan that uh, files whenever a call goes out of system so that uh, we should not violate the rules of ndnc thank you if somebody is men is a member in ndc uh, do not call registry right? okay and then he comes and registers with us for our service okay. uh, what are the rules on that if we have person's registration you know person says wake me up at 6 o'clock every morning mm -hmm. he also happens to be a register member of uh, do not call yes am i allowed to call the person and no uh, actually we can scan those number uh, number before dialing out with this ndnc is, database this is what we are writing a customized task for it so you are saying if the user is registered with dnb and also registered and with also, yes and also registered with me yeah. so the preference is if he is registered with me i should be able to call him right but that dnb mm -hmm. is the list of numbers which we are getting from government right and that we are manually scanning right. so it's up to me that i'll see i'll prefer my list first if right. i see that number is there in my list i'll call that customer then so i'll go check it in dnb yes so legally yes uh, because we have uh, we are having a proof like uh, he uh, accepted that particular terms and condition with us okay all right thanks <coughs> any more questions This will be the last question. Actually, I didn't got what was the advantage of using Ruby in this all of this because Asterix is a open source framework. I can implement the all of the rest of the things using any other language also. Yes, uh, you can use uh, other frameworks too, but uh, we are pretty familiar with uh, Rails and Ruby. So and it's basically Adagen is a telephonic framework which is written in Ruby, right? So that's why we preferred. Because if I am using an addition, then I don't have to really bother about asterisk commands when I am calling a customer. Asterisk uh, addition is written in Ruby, so if I have to write a custom dial plan that okay, if I call the customer, do this, do this, it will be easier easy in writing Ruby rather than asterisk. Thank you. Thank you guys for listening us. Thank you.